everybody, my name is Jamila Light, and I'd like to talk to you about something that's very important to me, and that's not letting your name define who you are or who you should be. Um, I currently reside in Fort Lewis, Washington, with my husband of five years, Travis. I'm 23 years old. We have a beautiful 18-month-old son named Leo and are expecting another baby in April. Although it's a surprise, we're starting to get excited. Um, let's just start from the beginning. Um, when I was growing up and what life was like then and why I'm telling you not to let your name define who you are or who you should be um, I grew up pretty it was pretty rough the first few years of life. My mother wasn't really a stable figure in our lives um, She didn't really know how to be a mom and unfortunately um, She ended up putting us up for adoption when I was nine years old My older sister was 11 and my younger brother was five we were thankfully all adopted by the same family, so that was really good. Um, when I was first born, my last name, my given name, was Rollins. When I was five years old, my mother had it changed to Kennedy because my father really wasn't a stable figure in our lives, and she wanted our last name to be her last name. When I was adopted, my last name got changed again, this time to Lammy. So, by the time I was nine years old, I'd already had three last names. Now, if that's not confusing for a kid, please tell me what is. Um, anyway, this wonderful family adopted all three of us, and they adopted a newborn baby a year later. So they adopted four kids in the span of about a year and a half. So, pretty crazy. They were great people, though. Um, we had a wonderful life with them, and even though they didn't graduate from high school, they both dropped out when they were young kids, um, they provided us with a good life. They'd worked at the same companies um, since they dropped out of high school and had worked their way up in the company. And, you know, they had, a, they lived well. We lived well as kids. Um, my biological mother didn't graduate from high school either, and, and neither did my biological father. So all four of my parents <laughs> didn't graduate from high school. So when my older sister me and my younger brother all graduated from high school. It was an awesome feat, and it was it was wonderful for um, both sides of the family to be able to see that after um, our parents not graduating. Um, in 2005, um, actually the same year I graduated, I married my high school sweetheart, Travis, and in 2007, he joined the military. And believe it or not, our very first duty station was in Germany. Now, if that's not a big change, please tell me what is. Um, we moved to Schweinfurt, Germany. Um, we were stationed there for three years. In that time, I learned a lot. I grew up a lot. Um, I became more cultured. Um, I learned a lot more about other people and other things, and um, more than just what I grew up knowing in the small town that I was from. And so about a year and a half into our stay over in Germany, I decided I was going back or I was going to start going to college. I got both negative and positive responses. Negative response sort of from my biological mother. She said that I didn't need to go to college to get a good job. I was perfectly smart and I was just as smart as anybody who had a, a bachelor's or a master's degree. And positive responses from my adoptive parents and the fact that they didn't graduate from high school, they didn't go to college and they wanted their kids to do that. And so I decided it was right for me and so I started going to college. Um, I've been going to UMUC for about two and a half years, and even though I probably should have done more than I have done up to this point, um, things were kind of delayed. Um, my husband deployed, we had a baby, and things were crazy, but I'm still going. Um, I'm still getting, getting good grades, and things have been excellent. And it's gonna be amazing when I'm able to graduate and, um, pick up my diploma with that cap and gown on, it's going to be an amazing day for my family and for me. So in wrapping things up here, I just wanted to say that I was born Rollins. My name was changed to Kennedy. My name was changed to Lammy. None of these names really, I mean, these people didn't accomplish a lot in their lives. Um, but I didn't let those names and what those people had done affect who I was and what I could do. Um, four parents, none of them graduating from high school, and here I am, high school graduate, graduate and attending college. 
That's an amazing feat and I'm very proud of myself and I know it's going to be even more amazing when I get my diploma. So I, I'm, not letting, I'm not letting the past or those people define who I am or how I will let things turn out in my life even though even though a lot of people follow in the footsteps of their parents I've decided you know to change things up a little bit and do things my way and and be successful be a wonderful mother um, get a get a college degree have a wonderful marriage all these things it's wonderful and I'm very proud of myself um, so anyway I look forward to spending the rest of this term with all of you guys and I can't wait to see all of your videos Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.